All right, Mitch Robinson with Montel Griffin. And, and Montel, talk to me about, uh, all right, what does it feel like? First in the ring, getting hit. And what does it feel like that morning after? Well, I usually tell I, I tell everybody that uh, being a boxer, want to be a boxer, you got to be kind of half crazy. Because uh, when I watch fights, that bothered me more than my own fights. Uh, I never really haven't been in a situation where the next day I was really, I was more sore, tired than anything. And um, getting hit, uh, I guess it's something you try not to, uh, something that I'm used to, but it's something that you you don't want to uh, get used to as far as just letting people hit you for no reason. Um, like I said, it's life after boxing. And um, I don't want to be slurring. You know, I want to keep, you know, keep my, my grammar and everything, my mind focusing. But uh, I love the game. Like I said, you kind of got to be half crazy, I guess. What, what's the hardest? Do you remember what's the hardest you've been hit in your whole career, amateur or not? Oh, uh, this guy named Ray Lathan from St. Louis hit me harder than anybody ever hit me in my life. It just didn't feel, it didn't even feel normal. It felt like it was a, an alien or something. And um, I found out he knocked down um, Evander Holyfield in the gym, so I didn't feel bad because I knew the man could punch. Can you describe it, what happened in that one? He hit me in the top of the head in the first round. I just, I just couldn't believe it. I said, I, I, I got to knock him out. I said, I, I got to, I got to pick my game. I said, I cannot take a chance of getting hit no more like that or I'm going to sleep. So I ended up knocking him down. Uh, he got, I think he got a, real, a long count. He got, he was down 10 seconds, but they let the fight continue. But after that, I kind of kind of broke him, and I ended up winning. But uh, he's the hardest guy ever hit me in my life. What what goes into training for a fight? How many days a week, and what do you do? What's, what's your regiment? Um, for a big-time fight, 10-round, 12-round fight, um, I run five to six days a week. I, I train six days a week, about two, two and a half hours. Um, get them run three, four miles in the morning. Go home, get to, uh, eat breakfast, get some rest, go to the gym by 1, 2 o'clock. Uh, I jump rope 20, 30 minutes just to warm up, shadow boxing, hitting the bag, sparring. And it's like a six day, a six six days a week and um, well, between six and ten weeks. It just depends how far out of shape you are before the fight. Mm -hmm. So I try to, you know, I try to keep myself in shape, but sometimes I let myself go. Back out. Oh, stay in there. Oh, Marty McGarry is my man. I've been knowing Marty since I was about four or five years old. So uh, it was just a coincidence me and Danny was talking one day. He brought up Marty McGarry. I said, I've been knowing him my whole life. And he was know he knew him his whole life. And um, we just started coming to the gym. And uh, I've been pretty much coming here every day. Since he was probably six years old back in Coulomb's gym, I used to put a, we used to put a box up on the, underneath the speed bag platform so you could hit the, reach the speed bag. You know? And then it was dead clouds for years. And uh, known him just all his life, just about. Is it nice? I mean, it's a, it's like your own private facility almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause uh, it's it's like a family here. All the guys coming, everybody know each other, everybody friendly with each other. You could leave stuff; it's still here the next day when you get back, and um, it's just it's a great atmosphere.